hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to highlight here in adobe acrobat pro let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in adobe acrobat pro i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go highlighting here in adobe acrobat pro is very simple and useful for annotating pdfs so once you are logged in or opened your adobe acrobat pro i want you to click the file that you wanted to work with in my case i'm going to be using this file right so there are a couple of methods you can do to highlight something here in adobe acrobat pro number one option is i want you to go to the hand draw the tool right here and use for example um kind of a green section increase the line thickness and from here you can obviously highlight something like for example you wanted to highlight this specific um text right here right so basically you wanted to point out something that this is part of uh an, an error or you wanted to know your client if that if this is uh, for reference or to if you're working with multiple um freelancers that this is for editing or an error or whatnot right so that's one way the other option is going to be using the highlight tool now i'm going to use a different uh, pdf for that because you see there is an option here that says highlight all right if you click that just point that to the text and you see that it will highlight automatically the text that you wanted for example this it's very easy really not only that it's easy you use highlights to draw attention to specific areas that requires revisions or discussions again during document review if you're working with multiple freelancers or maybe you're presenting this data to your client or to your company because it makes it easier to locate important content right here if you use the highlight in the lengthy uh, document right now highlight to do items or pending actions within a document you can easily revisit sections of interest without needing to reread the entire document it's like it can you can use it for a personal or or in a collaborative environment because you can use highlights to draw attention to specific points during presentations now as you can see highlighting here is not only functional but it can also make working with pdfs more efficient and collaborative and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.